YouTube makeup lovers, so I have a haul video for you guys today. I bought some stuff at Sephora, I have some stuff from Sigma, and I'm also adding the things that I bought while I was in Spain on vacation these past weeks. And I would have done a European haul because these products are, you know, big European brands. But there really weren't that many things, so I just thought I would just combine the video with the stuff that I bought here before I left on vacation and the stuff that I got while I was on vacation. The stuff from Sephora, I pretty much bought a few days after I filmed the haul video at the beginning of April, which is a bunch of stuff that I got for my birthday. I'll link to that haul video down below. This stuff I got after I had already filmed that video, but for these things I was able to use my VIB discount from Sephora. So that was really, really cool. And I had a couple other things on my list to buy at Sephora. So I just took advantage of it. So I better get started and share with you guys everything that I purchased. I'm going to start off with the things that I bought while I was in Spain. The very first item is one that I bought it last year as well. It's the first time I had actually purchased it. It is the Bioderma. I really, really love this. I actually got two of these. I really love using this to clean my face. You do not need to rinse this out, which I really like. It makes it really, really easy to use. And if you're lazy about taking off your makeup at night, this is something that is really, really good. And even if you're not wearing makeup, it's just really good just to clean your skin. And it's very, very gentle. This is the Makeup Removing Micelle Solution for Sensitive Skin. It says it's non-rinse paraben free and hyperallergenic so i loaded up on two more last year i bought two of these big ones and then this year i had to do it again i also got this little miniature size because i thought it was a really really good idea to purchase for travel i also got this chanel makeup brush i had seen this makeup brush here on youtube on makeup by tiffany d's page and i hadn't been able to find it this is the Chanel Angled Powder Brush number two. It looks like this. It is an angled brush. I searched for it here in the US at tons of Chanel counters and they never had it. So I thought, let me try one of these counters here and they found it right away. They had a bunch of these over there. So I ended up buying it. This would be really, really great for applying your bronzer. I think it's an awesome brush and I was really, really excited to find it over there. So this is the Chanel number no. two brush, angled powder brush. From the brand Bioderma, I got these face creams, the Sensibio Light and the Sensibio Rich. The Sensibio Rich says soothing cream sensitive for dry to very dry skin. And then the other one is also the same type of cream, but it's a lighter formula. So this is a light and this is the rich. I've used the rich one before tons of times and I love it. It is this one right here. I still have another bottle. It is just a really, really great moisturizer. So this one, the rich one would be for someone with dry skin and the light one, probably for someone that has natural to combination skin. And I just think they work really, really well. I wanted to try the light one to see how it would work during the day because here in Miami, I knew the summer was coming and it's really, really hot in the summer. So I don't like to use very, very thick moisturizer. So that's why I got the light because I thought it would come in nice and handy. But at nighttime, I still like to use the Sensibio Rich one, the one that's a little bit thicker, but it's still not that thick. It's not like a big goopy cream. It still feels really, really nice and it just moisturizes and it doesn't feel heavy at all. As a gift at the store that I bought all the Bioderma stuff, I received this Caudalie. This is a makeup remover. I have really never tried this out, but I was really excited to get it as a gift and I cannot wait to test it out. So it is like this, like a typical makeup remover. It says it has chamomile and it is hypoallergenic for your face and for your eyes. I can't tell you the exact name of this in English because it doesn't have it. It has it, I think, in French, in German, and in Italian, but it does not say it in English. I mean, I can tell some things about it, that it's a makeup remover, but I don't know what the name is here. And I'm sure they sell this here because we have some of these Caudalie products. I sell them at Sephora. And I also got some of these Roger Galette perfumes. This is the Sedrat one. This one, uh, it's kind of a repurchase for me, but I got the bigger size just because I love it so much. I bought some of these last year as well. And the Sedrat one was a one that ended up being my favorite one of all. And it looks like this. This is a bottle. It smells so good and so fresh. It reminds me of the Marc Jacobs smell. 
I believe it's the biscotti one from Marc Jacobs. And I just really, really like it. This is the Sadrat one. And then I got two more, which I have never tried, but I splashed them. And they smelled very, very good. This one is the Lotus Blue. It says it's Blue Lotus Fresh Fragrant Water. And then I got this one, which is the Vetiver, which is this one right here. And there is no translation for this one either. So it just says Vetiver. I don't know what that is. So it smells really good though. So these are the two other ones. These I got the smaller size just because it was the first time that I was trying them. So I didn't want to buy the big one yet. If I love them, when I go back next year, I'll get the big one. But just so you have an idea of the difference in size, here is the big one and here is the little one. And these, there is a Roger Gallet website in the US as well in case you want to purchase them. But if you're in Europe, I'm sure they will be easier to get. So this is pretty much everything that I got when I was over there in Spain. Now from Sigma, I did get some things online. I got those brush sets these are the extreme color payoff kit the perfect blanket and the spot on concealer kit these are brushes that i really never never had they come in little boxes like this and let me show you one by one what the brushes looks like this is the one in the extreme color payoff kit and this one i believe they all have six brushes each kit and these are the ones in the extreme color payoff kit so I have yet to try them out but these are really really great brushes for packing color the next one is the perfect blend kit and obviously these are the ones that are really good for blending your eyeshadows probably for the crease they will be really really awesome these are the brushes right here this is the perfect blend kit it is the spot on concealer kit if you like what I'm gonna do down below in the description box when I list it I'm gonna list all the brush numbers that come with this in the back here are all the numbers of all the blushes brushes that come in the back so I'll tell you which brushes come in which kit but this is a spot on concealer kit this is actually the one that I got first this one I got it first because it was 30% off so I jumped at it and bought this and then when I was over there I actually got it online when I was on vacation and when I got here it was waiting for me and here it is the spot on concealer kit so I'll definitely be trying these out and anything that I love or any particular brush that I love I will definitely let you know I know that now they are selling these individually so you do not have to buy the whole pack and last but most definitely not least my stuff from Sephora I got one of these Urban Decay customizable palettes and I already put some eyeshadows in here and I'm going to show them to you. This is what the palette looks like. It's kind of like a tin can. These are the three shades that I got to put in the palette. Um, this one right here is Bait. This one is Lost. And this one up here is the color Chase. So let me show you the three swatches of these eyeshadows. There you see the three. Chase, Lost, and then Bait all the way over here on my, on my right. Two more of the Urban Decay eyeshadows, but these I like to leave as single eyeshadows. I want to get one more for this Urban Decay palette, but they didn't have it. For this little slot, I am saving the color Easy Baked. I love all the ones that are baked from Urban Decay. There's Half Baked, Easy Baked, Baked. So that's the one that I'm gonna use to fill up the palette. But I also got my two favorite eyeshadows of all time from Urban Decay, which are Half Baked and Sin. I have those already and I was just hitting the pan and I just thought I would take advantage of the sale and get two more of those eyeshadows. So these, I'm just gonna leave these on their own. I like these to stay in their little single eyeshadow pots because they're really easy for travel. But those are my two favorite eyeshadows. I love the Urban Decay eyeshadow, especially the little frosted colors for my lid. I also purchased this Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It looks like this. It says it's made with 100% natural cocoa powder. I thought this was a funky concept. Let me show you what the palette looks like. 
looks like a big fat chocolate bar. That's what it looks like here. And when you open it, it is like this. So I have yet to try this and I cannot wait, but I love neutral colors. So I really wanted to try it and it just looked so pretty and this whole thing was very unique. The names of the eyeshadows are right here on this little plastic. So when you put the plastic over the eyeshadows, that's how you know what they're called. So I'm excited to try it out. They say it smells like chocolate, which it does a little bit, but it's not too much that it would drive you crazy. I had heard that it smelled a lot like chocolate and I was hesitant because I don't really like too many face products on my face smelling, but it's actually a very light smell. I'm sure once they're on your eyes, you won't smell anything. It actually smells pretty good. I also got the last hourglass ambient lighting blush that I was missing that I really, really wanted. This is the dim infusion one that has kind of like a nice little peachy color. I feel like for some reason the one that I got, I don't know if they're all like this, but when I saw them on YouTube, I feel like mine has less peach than the other ones. I mean, it's still a really beautiful peach color, but I just, I don't know. What do you think? If you guys have this one, does mine have very little peach compared to yours? But it's still a beautiful color. This is the one that I was missing and I really wanted to get my hands on Last but not least, I got some of these creaseless cream shadows from Benefit. The packaging is just adorable. I got the shade No Pressure. So I'm gonna go one by one and show you what they look like. This is what the packaging looks like inside the cute little box. And this one right here is no pressure. This one is RSVP. This one is called My Two Cents. And this last one is Bikini Teeny. So this is what the Bikini Teeny looks like. I'm excited to try out these cream eyeshadows from Benefit. These I will be wearing most likely under my powder eyeshadows as bases because that's how I like to wear my cream shadows. I will definitely let you know how I feel about them because I have yet to try them. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this haul video. I probably will not be having a haul video in the next few weeks for a while because I think I have done enough damage this past month as it is. So I probably will not be shopping that much lately, at least not for makeup. Um, anyways, I really hope that you like this video and that you check some of these products out. And as always, thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye.